Praise the Lord, church. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's good to see everybody this morning. In the house of the Lord. Ain't God good? Morning. Yeah. Ain't too weak this week, so God be praising right now. God be praising. I'm going to pick it back off of Mrs. Mack. Uh, this song was sung in this church a long, long time ago by, by Deacon Smithers. And the song just goes, May the work I've done speaks for me. All right. All right. All right. All right. And I'm on page 399 of those who have a book. We want to follow. Get on in. I like that. What's that? May the work I've done speak for me. May the work I've done speak for me. When I'm resting in my grave, there is nothing in me. May the work I've done speak for me.
are the light, Heavenly Father, that, that can take them out of the darkness. Great, thank you. Lord, we thank you for giving us another opportunity to come to you and worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord. Yeah. We thank you, Lord, for this day, the day that was not promised, Heavenly Father, but you gave it to us in yeah. yes. Lord, we love you. We magnify and glorify you, your name, Heavenly thank Father. You, it's your humble servant's prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.
was glad. Hey, yes. They said, let us go into the house.
Bless this great church, Father. May we continue to do your will. Show us your way. And have your way, Lord. We ask it all in the mighty and magnificent name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And all God's children said, Amen. Amen. And Amen. At this time, we will have our scripture by reference. privilege to just be able to be a part of a great church called Bethsaida. It's funny because Pastor Carter, this morning, I see the joy, even behind his mask as the deacons are singing and yes, praying, yes. he's joyful this morning. Yes, I, I, I hear it in his spirit. Yes, sir. And when Sister Marie started that song, I thought he was going to jump out of his seat. Yes. This is great to see. Uh, uh, spirit filled people yeah. express the love of God. Yes, uh, yes. One day when I grow up, I want to be able to pray like Reverend Hawes. He okay. said, a, a synchronized group of unified people. Yeah. I'm going to have to steal that, Reverend Hawes. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all, I said it first. So. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. Our scripture this morning will be taken from the book of Psalms, Psalms, the 19th Division of Psalms. Yeah. 19th Division of Psalms. My, my, my. Thank you, choir. Thank you, deacons, for a man. Awesome, awesome worship service this morning. When you arrive, there, say amen. amen. Let us read. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out throughout all the earth, and their words to the ends of the world. In them have you set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoicing as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the heavens, and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Right. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. More by them is thy servant born, and in keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression altogether. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted. This time, we want to uh, first of all say thank you for those of you who are watching us via Facebook. And uh, we, we have a, a saying here at the Sato much prayer, much power. We never know what someone may need in a virtual space. As a matter of fact, we may not even know what you need for those of us who are in our presence. So, at this time, this is an opportunity for those of you who are online uh, to share uh, your heart's posture. You, have a comment to make, please do so. Let us know where you're from. Let us know if you have a church affiliation, your name. And if you desire prayer, this church, the church beside the road, believe in prayer. Because we believe in much prayer, much power. And at this time also, we look around our congregation and see if there's anyone that is a visitor. If you would like to stand and give us your name, your church affiliation, if you have one, uh, this is your moment to stand and be recognized. Amen? Amen. Seeing none, hearing none, we will uh, move along with our program and look at Reverend uh, Monday as he brings to us our family prayer. Amen. Amen. May we all stand.
before I go into this cross, I want you to think about the ones that are already gone. Yeah. Think about the ones that was the foundation of where you are now. Think about the ones who probably didn't even trust in God. Like we do now. We had some that didn't even have a chance to because lives was taken. Just take time. Because really, that's all we got is time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
for all you have done. Yes. And if you don't bless me no more, mm. if I'm not able to make it home today, mm. if I'm not able to lay my head down one more time, I'm going to praise you right now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are good God. You are merciful God. You are grateful God. You are always worthy. Yes, man. Amen. Facebook, I know you hear us and you see us praying. That's right. If you need a family to pray for you. Yes, sir. If you need a family to love for you. Yes, sir. Just give us a call. Yes, sir. Mm. We don't want nobody left now. Nobody. So we just say, family. Mm. The Lord, I just ask you, Lord, to bless these small blessings that I ask in your darling son. Jesus' name I do. And I will. I will. Mm. We should all happen joyfully. Mercifully, I'll say, Amen. Amen. Amen.
another opportunity to praise God. Sometimes we treat God 
It's those gamblers in Las Vegas uh, uh, uh. that treat it and how they treat it, how it huge. Uh. We're more concerned about rolling the dice of life uh. rather than giving God his due. Uh. We interrupt our business schedules once a week, rush into church, give God his hour, and then forget about him and get back to what we would rather be doing. Uh. Reverend Dr. John MacArthur Jr. was certainly correct to title this book on worship, The Ultimate Priority by New to Pre New Moody Press mm -hmm. that was written in 1983. I highly recommend some of you getting it and reading it. God created us for the ultimate priority of worship. We are to worship him. As it has been stated and taught in most Christian schools and institutions of learning, the chief end of man is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. No accident that the longest book in the Bible is Psalms. It's all about praising and worship God. That's why I highly favor Psalms 19. And half the 35 years plus, Added it to the agenda program of worship here at the Salem. It's the text or the vision of Psalms that describes and illustrates the awesomeness of God. It shows his omnipotence. It shows his omnipresence. It shows his omniscience. And at the end of the 14th verse, declares how we should commit to the priority of worship by saying that the words of my mouth. Yes, sir. Meditation of my heart be acceptable unto thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. All of this text proclaims our obligation to worship in spirit and in truth. Dr. John MacArthur Jr. states, Worship is our innermost being responding, responding with praise for all that God is. Through our attitudes, through our actions, through our thoughts and words, based on the truth of God as he has revealed himself. And again, as mentioned in that book, worship is all that we are. All right. Reacting rightly to all that God is. Another author I've been reading, William Temple, another theologian, says, to worship is to quicken the conscience by the holiness, holiness of God, mm. to feed the mind with the truth of God, mm. to purge the imagination by the beauty of God, to open the heart to love, to open the heart to love God more, and devote the will to the purpose of God. I read where other preachers and teachers stated there Definition of worship. Mm -hmm. Worship is an inner attitude and feeling of awe, reverence, gratitude, and love toward God, resulting from a realization of who God is mm -hmm. and who we are, knowing that we are nothing without Him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The songs today <clears throat> proclaim that. The prayers today proclaim that. Mm -hmm. The teaching this morning. Mm -hmm. Proclaim that. Mm -hmm. Our only liberty is because of the freedom that God gives us. We are not worthy without God. We are set us, saved by grace. Born in sin, shaped in iniquity. Don't you think you are better than anybody else? It's all about God's grace. We're able to stand this morning and participate in our worship yes, service. Yes, 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 yes. Morning I wake up, something is a catastrophe. He's somewhere. Yes, Ten killed this morning by one man. Ten others disturbed and injured because he didn't want the people to celebrate their belief about the new year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They said we can't say that it's a hate crime. But I tell you it's a hate crime. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't like the people who are involved in the celebration. That's it, dog. They're Asians. 
Yes, it does. Ain't nothing new. It's been mm -hmm. going on for thousands of years. Yes, sir. So, so, yes, if you sir. study your calendar, if you study courses, if you do any kind of reading, there's four different types that celebrate the new year. And there are different times of the year. But the point is thanking God for a new year. Yeah. 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 Worship is not just making music. Mm. Worship is loving God. Loving God. Everybody can make music. Mm. One way or another. Go ahead, Doc. But music, thank God, is a path, a resource mm. to praising God. Yeah. Here in Bethsaida, I believe we have the best resource mm. in that path. Mm. Go ahead, Doc. It makes it easy to tell somebody, hey, not there for the Lord oh, my oh, soul. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Where? Would I be? Would I be? Yeah, yeah. Worship is knowing God for his goodness. Yeah. Honoring him, adoring him, obeying him, proclaiming him as the way of life. Music is one way to express our adoration for him. Apostle Paul states in 1 Corinthians 10 and 31, whether then you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. All right, all right. That's a celebration. That's right. Because you're celebrating what God has done for you. Yeah, Let me place a little pen here for a moment. I want to give you a historical account. Say a few things and then I'll take my seat. Take time, Doc. And when the northern kingdom, or Israel, was captured, and the capital was in Samaria. Mm -hmm. When they fell to the Assyrians, mm -hmm. Jews were deported to a city. <laughs> and foreigners were brought in to settle the land and help keep the peace. The intermarriage between those foreigners and the remaining Jews resulted in a mixed race. That's right. That's right. In pure in the opinion of the Jews mm -hmm. who lived in the southern kingdom. Mm -hmm. Always gossip. There's always those who feel they better than somebody else. When they need to the look the dirt in their closet, they'll keep their mouths closed uh -oh, uh -oh. about who he is and who he isn't. Uh -oh, well. Thus, the pure Jews hated the mixed race called Samaritan because they felt they had betrayed their people and nation. Yes, sir. They had set up an altar in the center for worship on Mount Jerusalem. The scene in the fourth chapter, 20th verse of John, to parallel the temple of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And there it had been destroyed 150 years earlier. The Jews did everything they could to avoid traveling through Samaria. That's right. That's right. But Jesus had no reason yeah. to well, live by such cultural, cultural restrictions. Well, around through Samaria was short. That was the route he took. Yes, and as I continue, I want to tell you, the Lord takes a short route to get to you. Woo! Go ahead, God. That's the reason why only he can give you saving grace. Hallelujah. Right? The narrative of the story mm. takes place at Jacob's well. Mm -hmm. Jacob's well was on the property originally owned by Jacob, who was Isaac's son, you know, when you read the Bible. Mm -hmm. It was not a spring fed well, but a well into which water seeped from rain and dew collected at the bottom. Wells were almost always located outside the city along the main road. Twice each day, morning and evening, women came to draw water. Mm -hmm. But this woman in right. this scripture, All right. she came at noon. Mm -hmm. well. However, probably to avoid meeting people because of her reputation. Well. Jesus, being weary from his journey, mm -hmm. sat on the way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here is where he came in contact with this Samaritan woman. Go ahead, Go ahead, when she came to draw the water, yeah. hey. he asked her to give him a drink. Well. Yeah. Jesus gave this woman an extraordinary message about fresh and pure water. Woo! 
that would quench her spirit to thirst forever. Mm -hmm. But she returned saying, you been a Jew? Mm -hmm. How can you ask me? Mm -hmm. Listen to me, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This woman, number one, was a Samaritan, yes, a member sir. of the hated mixed race. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Number two, was known to be living in sin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Number three, was in a public place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No respectable Jewish man would talk to a woman under certain circumstances. Woo! Lord, have mercy. But Jesus did. Yeah. God's first forever. Right. Mm -hmm. No matter what he, she, race is, social position, mm. our past sins. Mm. We must be prepared mm. to share the gospel mm. at any time in any place. Oh, yeah. Jesus crossed on barriers oh. to show the gospel. That's that's good, we God. too must do nothing and best. That's good, God. Jesus offered to her the living one. Yes, he did. As I preach last Sunday, Jesus of her, the I am that I am. What did Jesus mean by living water? Come on now, stand up. In the Old Testament, many verses speak of thirsting after God as one thirsts for water. Yes, sir. Psalms 42 and 1, Isaiah 55 and 1, Jeremiah 2, 23, Zechariah 13 and 1. God is called the fountain of life. In Psalms 36 and 9. Mm -hmm. And the fountain of living water. Jeremiah 17, 13. Mm -hmm. Saying he would bring living water that could forever quench one's thirst for God. Mm -hmm. Jesus was claiming he was the Messiah. Yes, yeah. sir. Only the Messiah mm -hmm. could give the gift that satisfies the soul's desires. Many spiritual functions parallel physical functions. As our body hungers and thirsts, so does our soul. But our souls need spiritual food and spiritual water. The woman confused the two kinds of water, perhaps because no one had ever talked with her about her spiritual hunger and thirst before. We would not think of depriving our bodies of food and water because when we leave from this church, that's going to be the first thing most of you do. But why should we deprive our souls? The living water of Jesus Christ and the written word about can satisfy our hunger and our thirst. The woman mistakenly believed that if she received what did Jesus offer? Mm -hmm. She would not have to return to the well each day. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's how some of us think today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That after God has blessed you, you uh -oh. forget where your blessings uh -oh. come from. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah. You think somebody owes you something. Uh -oh. <laughs> that's the problem today with this world. Uh -oh. yeah. well. They are resting in the world instead of resting in the word. Mm -hmm. Jesus was interested in Jesus. Excuse me. She was interested in Jesus' message because she thought it could make life easier for her. Yes, but if that was always the case, people would accept Christ's message for the wrong reasons. That's right, that's right. Christ did not come to take away the challenges we got to face, no, no. but to change us change. on the inside change. so we can have and be empowered with what we need to face the problems oh, in our perspective. The woman did not immediately understand what Jesus was talking about. It takes time to accept something that you have not had in your life. Yeah. Don't you forget, many people don't have the foundation mm. in their home and upbringing mm -hmm. to know or ever even heard of Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you, you who know the Lord, you who know who God has blessed you, you who know that God made a way out of nowhere, need to be their source, like this choir, to everybody you come in contact with. Because everybody got a song to sing. You can tell somebody how good 
God has been to you. But let me give you the rest of the story. Jesus allowed the woman time to ask questions and put pieces together for herself. Sharing the gospel does not always have immediate results. When you ask people to let Jesus change their lives, give them time to weigh out the situation. As my daddy used to tell me, I'm going to leave you some time. I'm stewing your own mess. Woo! To find out, I'm offering you a clean way out, son. Just keep your mouth closed and do what I tell you to do. And that's what we need to teach our children. That's what we need to say to our family members. And to remind your child that they are your child. They cannot outgrow your adulthood are your door hand. Yeah. Once your child, always your child. That's That's right. Right. So you stop having them tell you what to do. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. need to tell them what to do. Yeah. And there's happened to me once, that I think I've only mentioned once at this church. One day I thought I was big enough to speak back to my father. Some may say hi, and I'll say thank you for asking. 
Because he rose uh -huh. on that great and did not know. Yeah. I'm glad Come on now. for this woman's story. Mm -hmm. Because whether woman or man, I think the Lord has said it well with all of us. Yeah. But if he had not been there yeah. to give us the everlasting living one, yeah. where will we be today? Yes, sir. So as I leave this pulpit yes, at this hour, mm -hmm. I leave one request for you. Mm -hmm. You need to prioritize person. Yes. You need to think about how good God has been to you. Yes. Nobody can do you like Jesus. Well, well, well. Nobody yeah. came down through 42 generations yeah. but the baby Jesus mm -hmm. born of a virgin wrapped in swaddling clothes. Nobody, Nobody can give sight to the blind and walk into the lane. Go ahead and say hey. Start you on your merry way. Yeah. Nobody but Jesus. I'm so glad that I am somebody. Yeah. Not because I'm a black and male. Mm -hmm. Not because I've been free from slave of me. Mm -hmm. But I've been free, free. by the blood of Jesus. Woo! Free to thank the Messiah. Yeah. Free to save my son.
of the sister playing is having no problems. And I tell her, boy, I'm telling you, I've been feeling this. All right, all right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I sit back there, right? Yeah. And everybody that came past touched me. This bump, you know, I'm telling you, man, it's oh, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa.
God brought him to that storm, he's going to bring him through that storm. Well, well. You know, and I'm just here today on his behalf because I just ask you to continue to allow God to be that beacon in his life to where he continues to shine and help those that come to him in a mighty way that God put on him. And I ask that you just continue to bless him and keep him during this hard time because he is going to have to kind of rebuild things. But, but he knows that God got it. All right. That's all that matters. All right. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I'm going to ask uh, Reverend Nelson to come to pray. Amen. Let every heart prepare to pray. As we remove all the obstacles that we brought into the church. Wow. Father, we come to you in the most sincere manner not asking for anything for ourselves, but to give you the priority of our worship. Yes, yes. So Lord, we thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. for looking at even beyond our faults, yes, yes. seeing and supplying our very needs to the very end. Oh Lord, thank you for forgiving us of our sins, yes, yes. for sending the best thing that ever happened to us in the name of Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, God. Into our lives, Father God, and allowing our lives to be restored. Yes. Allowing us, Father God, to live in a manner that is reflective of your love for us. Yes. Now, Father, this little congregation beside the road, and it's up to us to light the path for men, women, and children. We acknowledge your sovereignty. We acknowledge your love that you threw your son, Jesus. And a few of your children have come this morning yes. uh, with the testimony and with requests for prayer. Yes. We know, Lord, when two or three are gathered together yes. in your name, yes. you will be in the midst. And Father, Father, if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't thank you enough just for your presence. But oh Lord, we want to be bold enough to go a little bit further and ask Father God to meet our we that you would cover these saints who come. That the testimonies of their lips, oh Lord, be an encouragement to the rest of us. That you are no respecter of persons. That if we ask in your son's name and it be according to your will, you will deliver. We thank you, O oh Lord. We pray now for strength for the young man who had a tragic loss. But, O oh Lord, we know that you can replace material things. So, Lord, we turn that situation over to you this morning. And we ask, O oh Lord, that you would give him the strength that's needed to rebuild. Remove any obstacles that may face him. That he may continue to be a light to others. I call her my Bethsaida mom, Sister Roland. And, and Lord, she's come requesting prayer for the whole family. Oh Lord, I, I, don't, I don't know what, what's going on, but we know that your word tells us that you bring your request to the altar. And leave them there. So Mama Rolette, we, we receive your petition and collectively as a synchronized, unified group of believers, we go to God on your behalf. And so Lord, touch this family in a mighty way. Rain down your love and blessings upon them. And to let them know, whatever the problems may be, if there are any, that you are an answer to every yeah. earth problem. Yeah, yeah. So Lord, we thank you again today for your son Jesus. Yeah. We thank you for your blessed spirit. Yeah. We thank you for the membership of the St. Baptist Church. Yeah. We thank you for this beloved pastor, yeah. preacher and teacher. Yeah. We thank you for this outstanding music team yeah. and this dynamic choir led by this wonderful sister. We thank you for every family that is represented. 
And Lord, without any fear of contradiction, this little church beside the road will continue to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise that's due to thee and thee alone. Father, we ask these little small blessings in your son Jesus' name. And the people of the sailor said, Amen. Amen. I did mention, go ahead, somebody. I just wanted to. Uh, you did? You did? Okay, okay, okay. Trouble breathing. 
And she's trying to talk to me. So I, I don't know what I don't know what, what her situation is. And I, I won't run up there this time. Uh, but I want you to know that we have people in the hospital. Sometimes folks have issues and they won't come before the church. So we have to pray for people, not just the ones that take the chair. Well. And if you know somebody in the church that is struggling, that is having a hard time, like Sister, Sister Tate, we, I didn't know Sister Tate was, was, was sick, but when we when we know people are sick, this is this is it's so important for us to pray for one another. Because if, if you really believe there is power in prayer, yes, sir. Yes, sir. if you really believe the presence of the Lord is here, yes, this is where you need to bring your petitions right here to say them. We have to pray for one another. So when you find your brother or your sister, matter of fact, I'm, I'm saying this today. If you look around the church and you and you see some, you, you don't see somebody who usually heal. Brother Moore will tell you in a minute. If I don't see him, I'm calling him, yeah. texting him. Not just Brother Moore, but you know, we have that relationship. Some of y'all have some relationships like that too. So you need to check on one another. Amen. Don't think that it's just the deacons and ministers' job to check on our members. Amen. We are all sheep and we are responsible to God for each other. Amen. I have loved you, Jesus said, love one another. To the glory of God, amen. amen. The Bible tells us that God loves a cheerful giver. He tells us in the Ma in Malachi that He will open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings. These blessings are not necessarily financial, but they can be. These blessings might not necessarily uh, be for great physical health, but they can be. Well, they may be. It may be someone here that's looking for a relationship, and, and your tithing won't get you the relationship, but the tithing will make your fellowship with God better. All right, all right. You don't know what God has in store for you. God don't move because you tithe. He moves when you obey. Hello, somebody. Right. Hello, somebody. Right. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. Right. Am I right about it? Obedience to God. His word is better than sacrifice. Right. So give to God as he has given to you. That's right. as, as I'm always reminded by Mama Florence, she say, he could have asked for the night. Right. Hello, somebody. All right. So give to God as he's given to you. Dr. Carter, is there anything further that needs to come for the church? Brother Hart, Reverend Hart is going to get a benediction.
strive to make you that priority number one. Yes. In Christ's name we pray Christ and all God's people said.